Let's practice a performance-based question for your CompTIA Security Plus exam. If you're looking for the normal ones of previously published 100 different questions, check out the card or down in the description or in my YouTube channel. Let's go. Here is the question. Read the following firewall rules and mark the statements as true or false. Now, previously, I've been giving you technically the statements and I wanted you to make the firewall rule but now it's the other way around so here we have the firewall rules in front of us and if you've been following previous videos you're probably probably familiar with this sort of table so we have four basic rules I didn't try to make it super simple and not super advanced so this is like in the middle there are some tricky parts as always but it's for your good so these are the statements that we have and you're either gonna have to mark them true or false try to use these squares to see if you're gonna get them or not so you can pause the video, go through the rules, go through the statements, see if these statements are true or false based on the firewall rules that we have in front of ourselves. Watch out for the traps. Okay, ready? Let's go for the first one. Now, in the first statement, it says, I can connect to google.com now in any of our firewall rules there is no mention of port 443 which is https or 80 which is http or any alternative ones thus if there is no mention of these ports the firewall rule is going to automatically block it so anything that's not mentioned in a firewall rule if you did not know is by default blocked thus it's gonna make this statement false all right so how about the second one in the second one it says I can update the clock on computer at IP address 192.168.20.101 one. now for updating the clock, we're going to use the port 123, the network time protocol, NTP. And it says I can use any source and any destination IP address to use UDP for this specific port protocol, NTP. Thus, I can update my clock at any IP address. Thus, it's going to make this statement true. All right, how about statement three? It says I can share my desktop with this computer at 192.168.21. Now, remote desktop protocol or RDP is usually at port 3389. And it says you can use the source IP address this guy to reach the destination this guy. Now, if I want to share my computer with this destination, I cannot do so because there is only one IP address, one destination allowed to use RDP, Remote Desktop Protocol. So if I want to share my desktop via RDP, via Remote Desktop Protocol, then I cannot do so because this guy is the only receiving end of the RDP protocol according to our firewall rules. Thus, it's going to make it false. All right, how about number four? It says I can send files securely from IP address 192.168.1.102 to this location 192.168.10.101. Now, sending sending files normally is going to go via FTP. If you want to send files securely, you're going to have to use SFTP, 
the secure file transfer protocol, which is on port 22, same as SSH, in case you did not know. So from any source to only this destination, I can do that. I can send files from any source but only to this destination, which is going to match our statement for, which is going to make it true because this part does not matter. This is the only thing that matters and it is allowed to send files securely to this guy, thus making this statement true. All right, last but not least, it says, I can use DNS server to resolve the domain name of google.com. What do you think of that? All right, since we are using the DNS server to resolve the domain name, we're gonna have to use port 53. Now we can do that from any source to any destination using the UDP protocol and thus this is possible. Thus it's gonna make the statement true. Write down in the comments what will, what command will you use on a Windows operating system to do this action. All right, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed. An advanced version of this is gonna come soon. Like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more, and I wish you success on your exam. Catch you on the next one.